Hey everybody, it's Stormy Iris, and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Last time, we got sent to the future by Eggman. With the help of Rouge and Shadow, we were able to get back to the present. This time, we're going to be collecting some information about Elise and seeing where she went. So also in the last episode, I want to point out, in case you didn't see it, I did buy the Bounce Bracelet, which is what we're going to be needing for uh, something coming up. I'll uh, talk to you. I know I did say I wanted to just space out these mini missions out as much as possible. Um, but I really like to do these because they do offer extra rings and there's going to be like a lot of really pricey stuff coming up really soon. They don't really do anything to like improve the story, but they're good to have. Once upon a time, there was three musketeers that saved Soliana. According to the legend, they hid treasures somewhere, but there were conditions that you had to fulfill to get that treasure. Running speed, rock crushing, strength, and flying speed are the things you had to show. But it's all legend, so you can't find three people who take it seriously enough to try it. How do you want to try it? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll try it. Because we definitely have someone who can go fast. We have someone who can punch a lot of stuff. And then we have someone who can fly. Very, very easy. Like I said, I did say before that I wanted to take some of these bonus missions a little bit slower. Um, considering that it's going to take up a little bit more time because these loading screens are absolutely, you know, slow. Um... But I do at least want to do a couple of them per episode if I really can squeeze them in. Um, as long as I can really... Depending on... Okay, really? Welcome, Mr. Here, I'm the Spirit of Antonia, one of the three musketeers of Soliana. If you can overcome the challenges, I will give you the treasure of Soliana. Let's begin. First, a flying speed challenge. Okay. Again, no, like, I want to make sure that, like... It's not going to be, like, a super long level that we're going to have to be completing in the episode. Because, like I said before, I do want to make sure that there is one or two levels being done per episode. So that there is some sort of progress being done. Because there's a lot of side missions in this game. Um, but I do want to make sure that actual main story progress is being done as well. Alright, so we got Tails here. So, we're going to have to do some flying. There we go. Alright. So... Why are these on the ground? I, I never like really fully understood that. Um, why there was some on the ground and like some that weren't like like for these ones like they're not like I can understand like oh crap. Uh, wow, that this is bad. <laughs> Tails, I need you to I need you to work with me here, buddy. Tails. All right. Um, as long as you don't like horribly fail like I do you should be fine okay maybe if you don't horribly fail like I do then you should be fine oh my god there's more okay there's a lot more than I remember oh oh okay well, I guess I got it all right as long as I got the one up there I think I should be fine okay here we go that's tail segment done now you just want to do them a lot of these before the time limit so that's the best way to go. So next should be Knuckles, if I remember correctly. Um, the first time we're actually gonna be playing as Knuckles, so that's pretty cool. We have to like play as Knuckles. I mean, more specifically, like outside the level. So strength challenge. Yes. Okay, I was right. Um, so that's like really cool. Oh, hey, we're going to an area we haven't seen before. All right. Again, I really, really, like, I'm more or less contemplating whether or not I really want to keep some of these loading screens in. Um, because they do take a while. I believe they take up at least a 10 seconds each. Here you go, Knuckles. Which is kind of excessive if you ask me. I don't really mean to, like, make it, like, super, super known that, like, I don't like these loading screens. But I do, I didn't mean what I said before, that this is the faster version. Alright, come on, Knuckles! So, I just want to make that known. Um, also, I want to mention here as well, um, that I'm playing this on, like, a, like, a, one of the last models of the Xbox 360 before they switched to the Xbox One. So, it does, like, go a little bit better for this version, but, again, like, I don't want to be, um, uh, I don't want to, like, I don't want to make it, like, so known that, like, this game runs so badly. But, uh, just bear with me as much as possible. I'm really am trying. So, I don't know if it's, like, 100% confirmed. Like, I I have the idea that it's there. Um, that a lot of Sonic 06, 
is based off of Sonic X. I don't like really like know for sure if that's 100%, because it really does seem like that. Um, there's a lot of ways that this game can be based around like Sonic uh, 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 Sonic X. There we go. That's Knuckles is done. Yeah. Um, I know that a lot of the um, the voice actors from Sonic X are in this. Actually, a lot of them from. Because I know some of them were introduced during, like, Sonic X. Um, I know Jason Griffith was introduced in Sonic X. I don't know if he actually had an appearance before. Um, I, th I believe that's his earliest appearance. Of course, the same thing is with Shadow as well. Um, of course, David Humphrey did Shadow before. Um, before Jason Griffith took over the role. Um... I know Mike Pollock got his start in the Sonic series as Eggman in Sonic X. Rouge's... Rouge's actress for... Voice actress for Sonic X, I believe, was one that stayed for a while. I know it, it, I, I know that they switched up the voice actors um, during the switch to, from, like, this, like, sort of era of games to the next modern-style era of games. It's all you, Sonic! Um, what am I doing? So, yeah, I just wanna... Okay, let's do this. So, I just wanted to point that out. I think it's really cool. I mean, I have zero idea what I'm doing here. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm trying to find my buddies. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I'm trying to stay in the middle of these clearings so that, like, I don't have to, like... Or I could just die. I mean, that works, too. Oh, no. It's gonna send me straight. Yep. Okay. Um, we're not gonna continue this one. Uh, because I simply just don't want to do it again. I, I might do it in between recordings, but I'll pass. Um, because it's simply just way too much time in between to actually physically work on this kind of thing. So, and I'm trying to stick with my rule of trying to get something done per episode, so... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. And another loading screen. Man. Okay, I I know I don't want to keep like picking on the game about these kinds of things, but like, dude, it's, it it is definitely noticeable that the time does rack up for how many cutscenes and loading screens are in this game. So again, I don't want to just pick on the game. So let's actually get into something really really cool. So we're actually gonna just continue the main story here. I'll see the reason to. You can take your three musketeers and go do something else with them. Um, sorry, I'm so happy. I know what it is. Okay, I was inside the uh, station. I saw the train, strange train go by. I've never seen any train like that before. What's that something to do with Eggman? So, definitely a train station. Did you hear a prime reporter? Uh, a train. Eggman went on a train and went somewhere. Okay, so that's basically the gist of what we need. So, you do need the next upgrade. Sorry about that. You do need the next upgrade, which is. The, um, no, we don't go that way. That's, we've already been that way. Which is the bounce bracelet. You do need that for what's coming up. So make sure you do buy that. Some of these upgrades are mandatory for the game. Um, others are just not. Oh. Alright, well, I'm just gonna zip right past you. Really? Oh, I remember what we gotta do. Yeah, you gotta come over here. And then, and you get, there you go. Alright, here we go. I, I kind of forgot for a second what you're supposed to do, even though I just explained what you're supposed to do is get the bounce bracelet, then use the bounce bracelet to get in, like we have to, like, the past few times. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a big brain. Alright, so, we're gonna be following Eggman's train. This mission can kinda suck. If you're not the best with this kind of thing... Shouldn't you save the train before chasing after me? Um, this mission can kind of suck if you're not, if you're not super good at this kind of thing. Um, so this is a race against the time. Um, so try not to focus so much on the enemies. Um, because if you focus so much on the enemies, then you're going to fall way behind in, uh, what you would want to. What you want to do is run over and hit the thing. There we go. That's the next part. So it's really just an overall balance of... Um, it's really just a balance of making sure that you're taking out some enemies so they're not in your way, but also making sure that you're not 
spending so much time uh, chasing after something. Um... There we go. Put that on that one, please. Okay, go over here. Yep, okay. Yeah, it really is just a race for time. Like, this mission, I, if I am trying to focus, I'm super sorry. Um, because this mission, you can fail this, and it will make you start over, or at least from the checkpoint. Oh, uh, where's the switch? Where's the switch? Uh, there are, well, there is a switch somewhere. Uh, where's the switch? I couldn't find it? Yeah, and it does make you lose a life when you, you know, fail that, so... Again, it's making sure that you know exactly what you do what you're doing in this one because Some of these missions are not the best I will admit that but um, If I am if I am trying to if I am silent at some points because I'm trying to focus on staying ahead because this mission is quite um, It is quite punishing if I do say so myself All right, come on. I want to be I want to spend an entire episode and a half on this one mission this isn't the game drums. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna focus here. So give me a second, and hopefully I can get back to where I was. Um, oh, I almost glitched through the floor. Ah oh, man, I'm attacking when my you know, attacking when I can't even fight back. That's that, that's just low. Okay, you're over here. It should be over here. Game. Game. What are you doing, game? Come on. Game. What are you doing, game? Come on. I'm on a time limit. Oh, crap. I'm going to get screwed over because I got, you know, because I glitched on the thing. Where is the switch for this one? It doesn't exist. Where is it? Where is the switch? I looked for the switch. It's clearly not there. And then I fall to the ground. Yep, this is the one that's gonna break me. I really, really don't want to get a game over because I practiced this game, but like some of these missions just are not good. Ugh. Perish. Now, hopefully, it doesn't glitch me again. Come on. Right, I'm gonna go over here this time. Right, there is gotta be a switch somewhere, but where is the switch? Well, certainly not there. Is it actually in one of these but Where is the switch? Oh, I found it! Oh my god! Oh, they're for getting all girly, but like, oh, I finally found it. God, all right. You're not gonna ruin my track record of very minimal game overs today, game. Let's go. I'm now ready to go. Oh. Go down here. Come on, Sonic, I go fast. Those enemies seem to be protected by cage or something. Sorry if I'm really, really focusing. I'm really, really am trying to just not fail this. Whew. Okay. We're making progress. Um Again, I'm trying not to fail this. What a first good recording after, you know. Like, I'm not intending to, like, my philosophy with this Let's Play is to not... Oh, this is a mock speed section? I forgot this one existed. Okay. I don't think this one's a bad one. Oh, okay. Alright, Sonic is secretly He-Man. 
Alright. And I died already. Isn't that just a good first start? Alright, come on. Focus and go. Alright, collect some rings, I suppose. Alright, come on. You know what? It's fine. No, we're fine. We're fine. Is Elise on board? Is there at least one ring? I'm almost there. Police, hang on. Yes. There we go. Again, I was concentrating as hard as I can. We did it. Three minutes, thirty-three. I don't even want to say that number. Seven rings. Thirty-seven. Yeah, no. It's gonna like. Yeah, no. Just made it. Yeah, that is a just made it moment. Moment, Sonic. Okay. Here we go. We've made that. I'm bumping just about everything else on my desk because I've gotten just so uncomfortable trying to do some of these levels. All right. Whew. We're making good time. We're making good time. At least for right now. As far as I know. Alright. Yes, please save my data. I would I would hope that you would save my data. Also, I want to mention here as well. Um, that because, like, I don't always use some of these recordings in... Oh, wait, crap. Cutscene. I knew it. Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to. <gasps> you again. There will be no more interruptions. The Iblis Trigger must die. All right, so we got another boss on our hands, Egg Genesis. This fight isn't really all that bad if you at least know what you're doing. Um, for most often and not, the best thing to do is just to run around kind of like how Silver was. All right, so he's going to launch these missiles at you. The best thing to do is just to run. Um, so he's going to try to look, see where Sonic is, try to avoid that, and he's going to come down. What you want to do next is run over here and attack it as much as you can. Best thing you can do is probably three, so we're just going to take that for what we can. Alright, what I was saying before. Um, of course, he's going to have missile attacks. He's going to have a huge laser attack. He's going to have more missile attacks. 
Things of that nature. It's not a really hard boss if they sp if those lasers spot you, they will start um it will unleash a really powerful attack, so take that what you will. Um I wanna mention too that this is um my second recording session because I I have a philosophy where with this series I don't wanna take like a huge long break from it. Like kinda like how like Paper Mario Thousand Yardor suffered because of that. Um, I'm trying to be as comp completely consistent with the series, so I am actively trying to. Um, but I'm already more than halfway through Sonic Story, and this is like the fifth episode that I've sat down and actually fully recorded. Yeah, they're not like very very long stories, but like I'm at least trying to keep it to where it's fairly consistent with um where each of the characters aren't taking so long. Um, trying to keep it to where at least every character stays around the same um the same length in time if anything so hey buddy how's it going two and three and you're forcing me into a launch sequence all right here we go all right it's not a fortress it's an egg genesis it's a giant robot oh sh oh crap Oh uh, crap, there we go. <laughs> Alright, did that the best as I possibly could? See who my, my rank is gonna be. You just made it. That was incredible. That was incredible. Not too bad of a boss fight, it's not very hard. Um, but I am trying to keep the amount of episodes that every character has consistent. Um, so my rough estimate, if I really have to say something, is gonna be around eight or nine episodes each. Which, it's really going to put the series at about if I'm, I'm, like, I know in a lot of ways I don't like, rough, like, putting on, like, oh, this series is going to be this sort of length. Um, but, like, for something like this game, I can already make a reference of how long this game is going to be. I would at least put this game at about 30 episodes as the main story. And then, uh, like, more bonus ep uh, videos after that as well. Speaking of bonus videos, I should probably get on Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. But that's besides the point. And that was a gutsy move back there. Well, I was desperate, and um, I just had to get away. I owe you a lot, Sonic. Uh. <laughs> Sonic. I'll head into the jungle. Okay. If that cutscene didn't make you feel weird, then I don't know what does. Alright, so we got another Escape with Elise mission. These ones aren't that bad, I will openly say. They're not as bad as the mock speed section ones, but definitely not on the level of, like, you know, the worst levels in the game. Alright, so, come over here. We gotta make our way over there. There's a switch around here. This is one section of the game that I always get confused on. So, bear with me here. Um, trying to find it just so like I can have a clear rough estimate what I'm supposed to do, but of course me and my infinite wisdom can't find it fast enough. Um, no, there's a solely out of metal, so we're supposed to take that. Um, that is the next mission, right? Or am I missing something completely, like, oblivious here? I, I'm being very oblivious. Um, you have to make it over to... Oh, I'm an idiot. There is no spring. You run on the water with the ability. I'm kind of an ass. Alright, so... Got a next mission here. Tropical Jungle. Avoid Dr. Eggman's pursuit. This is probably going to be the last uh, mission that we do today. Again, we're actually able to get like, another mission done. So we actually got a lot of progress on today's episode. So I'm actually pretty happy about that in general. So, all right. So some of my experiences with this game, because I really want to talk about it at some point. Um, you, you can see that a lot of these missions are doing very well on. That was not the case the first time I ever played this game. I think the first time I actually played through this game, I was getting like 20 minutes per, uh, per mission. Um, because I was actively trying to figure out how to do it. So. I think, like, while these, like, something like, a uh, let's play of this game. 
should definitely come like for the best experience come from like again like um uh, I definitely would not have imagined that, but all right. So I think in a way is that there's a lot of different ways you can go about let's playing this game, and the way that I see it is um, for games I like to let's play, I like to have experience with those games, so that, like I'm not like um, ex ex like super oblivious to how the game is supposed to actually go. Um, but for something like uh, for something like this, um. For something like this game, I think like the best way is is either way you want to go about it. Like, of course, playing this game like blind is also a really good way of like doing like a blind buzz play of this game, just so you can see everything that's like in the game. Um, but I definitely like to do this game in sort of like a yeah, you know, I've already played through the game, so why not you know do a let's play of it how I normally would do it, but like actually talk about it. So. I love the way that she just flops on Sonic. That is really funny. Alright. So, come down here. Swing on the bulbous vine. Here we go. Yeah, I like that some of these missions, like, a lot of people are always like, you know, Sonic uh, Sonic games have such sometimes have really long levels. That is true, uh, in certain ways. Um... But I think for something like, um, like something for like the, th uh, the th like the past three Sonic games, I think they have a perfect amount of length length for these levels. Like, there's ways you could complete these levels like really fast. Um, I think that's like really cool. Um, but for something like this, so I, I really do like the fact that it's like, um, like I like that it's not like super like lengthy. But like you can speed through these levels pretty well if you know what you're doing. So I, I really do like that. Um, in terms of more Sonic Let's Plays, I do have some considerations for some in the future. Um, actually, well, I might as well just talk about it now. Um, I'm already talking about it. Uh, this was not the first Sonic game I intended to Let's Play. Um, uh, the first Sonic game I intended to Let's Play was going to be Sonic Adventure. Um, because it's the first big 3D Sonic game, and I kind of want to do these in order. Of, like, how they used to, how they came out. Um, but I wanted to start with one, uh, that was, like, infamously known. Uh, and that was Sonic 06. So, I ultimately chose this game over Sonic Adventure, so just let that be known. And to ruin my credibility as a Sonic fan, I chose this game over one of the, you know, highly praised Sonic games. So... Uh, if I do come back to a Sonic game, which I do fully intend to, I do have other Sonic Let's Play ideas that I have in mind. Um, so that'll definitely come sometime in the future. Uh, but I don't want to, like, pump these Sonic Let's Plays out, like, really, really fast. I definitely want to, um, you know, let these things kind of sit for uh, for a while and just not to oversaturate on them. Um, because I do like to differentiate, like, Let's Plays and, like, certain things that I do. I was just about to hit the button. All right, come on. So, like I was saying before, I want to, um, nice lag. Um, again, like I was saying, I'm going to stay off that. Like I was saying before, I don't want to like make it like one Sonic Let's Play, one Sonic Let's Play, another Sonic Let's Play. Don't eat me, turtle. Okay. So, I want to just make sure I'm going to have the time. Um, I do intend to do more. I would really like to. Um, but for the time being, I kind of want to keep this, you know, as a one-time thing. For, at the moment, then focus on some other games I want to cover as well in the future. So. I don't mind Sonic games. Like, the funny thing is, like, Sonic was just never, like, a game that I was able to get into. Not because of, like, not, not because of, like, any specific reason. I just never, like, clicked with Sonic games. It was actually, um... One of my really good friends that actually got me more into Sonic, and, um, and as the time went on, I was able to, like, get more comfortable with Sonic games, so, they're definitely something really fun to play, I, do, I really do like them. So, what is your score? Be about 42,000 B rank. Oh, excuse me? That, now that is just rude. I think my cat is clawing at my door. 
She might be. I'm not too sure. All right, listen, Elise. I want to let you know that I saved you. So, I don't want to hear it. Hmm. Looks like we've lost them. I'll settle things here. Elise, you should go back to the castle. Okay. Sorry? so many flowers before. Sonic, have you visited many wonderful places before? Yeah. Once you defeat Eggman, you'll leave, won't you? Though I've been frightened many times, I also enjoyed this adventure. It allowed me to be something other than a princess. I was able to be myself. A girl. It sounds like being a princess isn't that easy. It isn't sometimes, but I love this country. Everyone in the castle, the children, all nice citizens, really. The same love my late father and mother. Don't cry, Elise. Become a strong queen who doesn't cry, no matter what happens. And so, I do my best to protect my country. I understand everything my parents said to me now. Sonic, if you leave here to go on another adventure, remember this place. Definitely. Police? I'm fine. Sorry. I mustn't cry. I can't. Police? Smile. Miss Elise! I cannot allow harm to come to my people. Miss Elise! It is my duty as Princess of Soliana to go. There is no other choice. Terrible. Princess Elise went to see Eggman by herself. Tails, please help her. I think next time on Sonic the Hedgehog, we're heading the wave ocean. See you guys then.